Hi, I'm Lynette, aka London Makeup Artistry, and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the new Cover FX Power Play Foundation. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing because I do reviews and other beauty related videos here on my channel every Saturday. Now, when reviewing a foundation, I will tell you about the claims of the foundation, we'll talk about the price and the packaging, and then I will show you a little demo of me applying it that I'll insert somewhere here in the video and then I will tell you my experience with the foundation and if I would recommend it or not. So a little bit for you to know about me. I have oily skin and when I wear foundation which is usually Monday through Friday I wear it for 10 to 12 hours a day. Okay all right let's get started. This is the packaging for the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. Very nice. It's like this brownish black glossy box. And on the sides, it has the claims and ingredients and all of that good stuff. And then this is the foundation itself. So let's read some of the claims. I will be reading from the box and um, the description on Sephora as well. A long wearing liquid foundation formulated with innovative high impact pigments that provide buildable medium to full coverage and a breathable weightless finish. A trio of ultra fine powders control shine and help visibly blur imperfections all day without dulling or drying complexion. And some additional information on the Sephora website. It says that it is recommended for combination and oily skin types. The finish is matte. Uh, it says it is sweat proof, transfer proof, waterproof foundation. The finish will not oxidize and it's available in 40 diverse shades. It's formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. There is no mineral oil, no fragrance, no gluten, no talc, and Cover FX is vegan and cruelty free. So, <laughs> a lot going on with this foundation. All right, so the packaging. This is the packaging. It is a plastic bottle, it's very small. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown foundation. This is the cover effect. So in relation to this, there, well, this one actually you get more um, product than this. This is one fluid ounce. This is 1.18 fluid ounces, I believe. And yes, and so it's a small bottle, which, you know, doesn't bother me. I mean, saving some packaging by using a smaller bottle so to, maybe you don't feel like you're getting a lot of product for your money but you're actually getting a little bit more than the typical foundation so that's a good thing and I like it I mean you can see the color of the foundation you don't have to worry about dropping it <laughs> and then this is a like a like a little bronzy um, top and then you unscrew the top and you have a squeeze bottle and I got mine in the color G80. So first things first, I don't like the packaging. Um, I don't mind that it's plastic. I prefer a pump because with the squeeze tube, I feel like I use more than I, foundation than I need um, because I'm eyeballing it to see how much I'm going to use. So I feel like I definitely squeeze out more than I really need. And I find that because of the shape, this, that it's square, it's not round, it's not, it's a square, oops, shoot, I can't be wasting none of this foundation, okay. It's square, and you are never going to get all the foundation out of it because it's square, and I think that's probably why Cover FX gives you a little more than of one fluid ounce, because if they know you're not gonna get all the foundation out of here with this square-shaped bottle. And I prefer a I prefer a pump because a pump just it gives you a measured 
pour um, and then I can try to you know I can figure out well do I need a pump two pumps a pump and a half I think I can better measure out how much I need as opposed to a squeeze bottle and sometimes I find a lot of times I find uh, the first squeeze I'm usually able to get product out but then when I go back to do a second layer I'll squeeze again and I'll turn it around and squeeze and nothing comes out so gotta go like that and then squeeze and I'll get it out so I really don't like the packaging this foundation retails for $44 I have plans on picking it up for during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale for 15% off and then found out that cover FX was having their own sale they were offering 25% off and free shipping so your girl said later for Sephora and I picked it up for $33 as opposed to the full price of $44 and I think $44 is a decent price for foundation especially since you get a little bit more than the norm so $44 um, I'm comfortable with I've been wearing it for a little more than a week this would be like day maybe day eight or nine that I've been wearing this foundation. I do find it to be full coverage. Now I got a lot of issues you'll see from the uh, demo that I've got a lot going on on my face that I need to cover up. Uh, one half is way worse than the other half. So when I'm thinking about full coverage, I take into effect that I probably have a lot more issues than most people. So full coverage for me is going to be more than full coverage for your average person. So I think for the average person is definitely full coverage. I like the coverage. I consider it full coverage and I do use two layers of it and I still have to go in because I have a lot of issues. I do have to go in after it with concealer to cover up the rest of my blem blemishes to get me that flawless look that I'm always striving for um, it is a matte finish um, it says it doesn't dull give you a dull complexion but I mean it's matte and I feel like it's it's dull but I feel like that with all matte foundations it's a matte foundation any radiance that you had or any doingness or any of that I mean any glow it's really going to bring that down a notch because it is matte and I mean I'm used to it I have oily skin I'm used to matte foundations it just comes with the territory but I don't mind it at all I just add my glow in other areas <laughs> okay um I don't think that you really need to it's it's not an uncomfortable matte finish and it's matte enough to where I don't think most people necessarily will need to powder it down but of course I do because I have to powder every foundation that I use if I want it to last all day so I did powder this down and it does not oxidize I find that to be true it does stay true to color which is very nice and it can be because it's matte um, you know when you're powdering it down and using other powders on it it, it, it can be a little duff, teeny weeny difficult to blend other products on top of it um, just the, the same thing with the Bobbi Brown foundation but I mean it's not problematic at all you might have to put in a little more wrist action but it's it's not an issue whatsoever I do find this to be lightweight I don't feel like I'm wearing any foundation on my skin it doesn't feel my face doesn't feel weighed down in makeup at all and it is long wearing now as I said before I wear makeup Monday through Friday any days that I go to work and I normally wear my foundation from 10 to 12 hours a day sometimes a little less not usually sometimes a little more than that and I find that when probably like the first day that I wore this foundation I didn't need to blot for like six hours the first time I blot it was like six hours in and I only had to blot my nose everything else was still matte still in pristine condition as when I first applied this foundation and my nose you know is not that's not unusual it's it gets the oiliest the fastest I wear this foundation with um, a smoothing primer my um, philosophy smoothing primer 
um, and then I use the Sephora mattifying primer just in my t-zone because I get the oiliest in my t-zone so I use a mattifying primer there and I've been wearing it with the Fenty Beauty mattifying primer all over as well and I get great wear with that but I also like today for example I'm not wearing the Fenty Beauty mattifying primer I'm just wearing the mattifying primer in my t-zone and my regular smoothing primer and I still get good wear from this foundation actually it lasts all day by the time I get home the um, foundation around my nose on my nose will have broken up and some of it will have disappeared but that is the norm for me with every foundation I wear <laughs> my nose the, the, it usually breaks down and disappears at some point during the day <laughs> um, but it's not with this foundation it's not until like near the end of my day I still blot I have to blot at least one time during the day which for me is fabulous um, so it's definitely definitely long wearing and I really like it I really like this foundation I've been wearing it every day since I bought it and I actually put down my Bobbi Brown foundation um, I like it that much I like both of them the Bobbi Brown foundation is highly fragranced which I don't like it the, the the scent does dissipate after you apply it this foundation has no fragrance and I really appreciate that I haven't found it to have any negative effect on my skin I have sensitive skin as well and I haven't had any problems since wearing it I like it I really like it I don't mind the price I like that it's fragrance free I like that it's matte it's lightweight and it lasts a full day like for me 10 to 12 hours and then some is a really great wear time and I definitely plan on looking for this shade in my summer shade because I could certainly see myself rocking this foundation all summer long I like the, the shade match if you follow me, you know I've been having issues matching my foundation. It is almost a perfect match to my chest. Uh, my face and my neck are a different color than my chest, <laughs> uh, which is really annoying. But <laughs> it's a good, it's a good match, and I hope that I'll be able to find it in my summer shade because I could. This is this is going to be a great summer foundation. I really think so. So. That's my review on it. I really, really like it. I will continue, of course, to wear my Bobbi Brown because I paid for it, so I'm going to wear it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like my new daily right now. If you have oily skin, I would definitely recommend it. You might want to get your sample and try it if you haven't already. I think you will be pleased. So thank you for joining me today. If you got any value from this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.